Welcome back to Below the Surface. Boy, do we have some heavy hitters on the boat today. Of course, I'm out with Shark Quest, but we also have Brady Hale, who's the president of the Ocean Strike Team. We got Sherry Loves the Water. Check out her videos on her Instagram and her TikTok. And then we have Jessica Valick from the Okaloosa County Coastal Resource Team. And she's actually the reason why this whole dive was put together. Because on this trip, these lionfish are all going to science. So she's going to get the measurement of all of them. She's going to get the location that we take them from. And then she's going to get some other key data off of them to include if they have scars or lesions. And take them for DNA testing. She's just going to do like science stuff. So that's cool. We get a free dive out of it. We get to come take out some lionfish. And then we also get to learn a little bit more about this invasive species, which is still an insane problem down here. But the Emerald Coast Open preseason is going on right now, so we're doing our best to take out as many as we can. The Emerald Coast Open's only a few months away, and uh, I'm telling you, it's going to be a good year. So if you guys aren't registered yet, you better hurry up and get registered. Now this was just a little rubble pile. As you can see, there's not a whole lot of structure here, but this thing held a lot of lionfish. Pull up tucked under this little lip. I don't know where that one went. He's in there somewhere. I don't even know where he went. I, he's like disappeared. I'm still gonna try to see if I can poke him, but there's nothing. I got nothing for him. I don't know where he went. Did you guys see where he went? Let me know in the comments below if I just missed him. Like I missed that guy. Just kidding. No, I didn't. Get him my soup keeper. Funny, heartbreaking story. So this wasn't even the first dive of the day. The first dive, I got a lot of lionfish. But I accidentally turned my camera off when I got to the bottom and didn't film any of it. So, yeah. Jessica, what are you getting the measurements for? Um, so we do this 267. Um, every time we go out harvesting lionfish, we go out monthly. Um, and basically what we're doing is we're, we measure every single one because we're able to pretty much age them based on their size. So it gives us a really good idea of 255. They're like the population structure um, and age of lionfish that we're seeing out here. Awesome. So what about the, the scars and the lesions? What are you looking for there? 282. Um, so there was a big like outbreak back in 2017 where um, we were seeing these lesions like showing up on a lot of lionfish and a lot of lionfish were actually kind of dying from it. Um, and so it seems like it had like a pretty good 336 uh, impact on their populations at the time. Um, and so now we're still seeing them. Um, we do tend to see them in the winter time more than the summer. So we're just looking for, you know, to see if they're present, like actively present, or if there are lionfish that are actually healing from them. Um, and so they basically look 225. Like if they're an open lesion, like a fresh one, it's like a sore on the lionfish. Right. Um, and it'll be like really discolored and kind of like almost like bloody looking. Um, and then if it's a scar, it, I mean, essentially looks like a scar. Gotcha. 278. Now, I don't know about you guys, but I kind of geek out a little bit about that because I like learning about lionfish and I also like coming down here and shoot them. So let's get after it again. Now this site was pretty cool. There's a lot of little structures next to this barge. And I don't know if you guys noticed, but lionfish really like to hang out around metal structure. So even with those little, I don't know, little pieces of metal rubble out in the dirt, still holding three to four up to 10 lionfish on a little piece of structure. So now we're over the barge, and uh, we're gonna see what this thing's holding. You know it's got some lionfish, but it's also home to a bunch of giant red snapper, a couple really nice trigger fish, and all different types of grouper down here. So this little barge, this is pretty cool. Shoot, I haven't found some scallops. So you can't beat a dive when you're bringing home fish and scallops. All right, so if you guys are hunting lionfish, it's really important to remember 
that you're not only just looking at the structure, you gotta get up under the structure and start looking up. Because lionfish, they like to suspend just like this guy was. And you know where he's going. Get him, my zookeeper. That's right. He's going up top. And so are his little other buddies that are hanging out down here. When I say little buddies, I mean he had some decent buddies. And they were all up under this ledge. Yep, I'll take him too. Hey, and you guys don't forget that I'm now an affiliate of Zookeeper. I'm going to give you a code to save you 10% on their site. It's pretty easy. AD Outdoors. Whoa! Did you guys see that lionfish? That sucker came out of nowhere. I don't even know where that guy came from. I've never been stung by a lionfish. I've had a couple close calls. But that one was really close. Whew. Anyways, I'll take him. And he'll go my zookeeper too. There's that code. 80 outdoors. You guys check him out. You're welcome. All right, back to lionfish hunting. I don't know if you guys noticed, but I'm also using a different pole spear on this one. This is one that I got from Lionator. You guys, make sure you guys go over to his website. Check out the pole spears that he's got. Really good lineup. And don't forget, at the end of this video, I'm giving one of these pole spears away. If you watched my last video and you did what you're supposed to do there, then you're already entered. And you're going to find out real soon who's taking one home. But I have a second pole spear to give away. Same rules apply. Like the video. Share the video. That's it. Like the video and share the video. And then write done. Easy. There's those scallops. My hands are full right now. I got pole spear in one hand, a zookeeper in another, I got these scallops in my hand, and I still got lionfish to get. Gotta get creative, so I'm gonna load it up on this barge, and I'm gonna take this one home too. Look at this guy, biggest one of the day. Ended up measuring about 14 and a half inches. And he almost didn't even fit my zookeeper. Literally, I have to sacrifice the stuff in my hands. Hopefully my scallops don't swim away. And then I gotta use my other pole spear to push this guy through. Just listen to it. That took some force, but we got him in there and he pretty much filled up my zookeeper. But luckily I got the extender on it. I'm getting real close to my NDL. I think I have about three minutes left before I go into decompression, which I'm not gonna do because I'm not a deco diver and I didn't plan a deco dive. So we're gonna start heading up and we're gonna get these lionfish counted, measured, and put on ice. Seriously, there ain't no better feeling than having a full zookeeper before you get back on the boat. Look at that. Extender open, this thing is loaded. The bread and butter of lionfish hunting is my zookeeper. I'm an affiliate with zookeeper, so I have a code that I'm gonna put down in the description. If you guys are looking for anything zookeeper related, they got the zookeepers, they got pole spears, they got clothing, they got jewelry, Anything related to lionfish, you guys check them out. I'm gonna leave a link down in the description and give you guys my code so you guys can save 10% and I make a little bit of money off of it too. So it's a win-win for you guys and for me. But this is the one that they sent me to show you guys. This one is the 20 inch with the extender on it. So this is really cool. So you know, if you get on a site that's only got a couple lionfish on it, 
and you don't need the extender. This thing just pulls back up into itself, makes it a smaller piece of equipment that you get to dive with. And then if you get into a lot of lionfish, you can open that and you're gonna catch a lot more lionfish or be able to keep a lot more lionfish. This one also comes with my pole spear keeper on it, which is cool. It's just already attached and that holds your spear. So Lionator is another company that reached out to me and wanted me to show you guys some of their spears. So you guys saw this on one of my last videos. And then of course, my larger zookeeper. And this is one that you guys have seen in the videos in the past. And that one has my shorter JBL pole spear. That's my go-to pole spear when I'm going after lionfish. These smaller ones from the Lionator. These ones are really nice when you got tight quarters or a tight area that you gotta get into to get a lionfish. So both of those pole spears work awesome. All right, you guys, thanks for watching the video. Now it's time for the big giveaway. This one right here is going to DPD0710, man. So if you're watching this video, my email is down in the description. Send me an email, let me know what your address is, and I'll get this bad boy shipped out. So congratulations, man. You're gonna have fun with this little guy. This thing will, this thing will put some lionfish in the boat. But wait, there's more. Well, we have another lionator pole spear up for grabs. This one's been used. This is the one that I did my review on, so the tips are a little, uh, they're not as sharp as they once were. We'll just, we'll just call it that, but they're easy to sharpen. So you guys, um, don't forget, all you have to do to enter this time, same thing, just like the video, share the video, and then comment down below, done. And uh, you'll be entered to win this beautiful pole spear. All right, you guys, thanks for watching. Don't forget, hit the like, hit the subscribe, 